Hey YouTube, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to render an audio file. Now basically, uh, one second. Okay, so basically what you guys need to do, um, basically what you'll use rendering an audio file for would be, um, say you're trying to put your FL Studio music or whatever on a CD or you're trying to take just the sounds and throw it into Windows Movie Maker to make a movie with it and have pictures behind it or something you would want to figure out a file that you wanna or you know a file like how you want your your file to be let me show you what I'm talking about instead of just trying to explain it so basically what you guys need to do is up here at the top you're gonna see all of these little options here you got your help, view project info, one click recording, editor, um, render as audio file, save as or save as new version or undo history, you know. Click the little render as audio file right here. It's going to look like a little floppy disk with some audio lines on the top. So click that. All right. And then it's going to make you save it. So test but it's not going to overwrite your um, saved file that you already have it's just creating an audio file it's saving in two separate places so don't worry about um, messing up anything because it won't test one all right so you click save and then this is going to open up right here it's going to tell you how much like how big the file is it's going to tell you how many bars. So as you guys can see, I have 1 through 16 bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So I can choose to use WAVE, which is going to be right here, that big a file. Or I can use MP3. It's going to be a little bit bigger of a file because I'm using mp3 and wave I can take wave out and just use mp3 it cut my file down you know a lot <laughs> all right the only difference with mp3 is you tend to lose a little bit of sound quality because it's compressing all the sounds together um, but for YouTube I use wave now I've always used mp3 up until about three months ago but I use wave alright so say we use that and then you have your 16-bit 24-bit 32-bit I always use 16-bit I just started using 24-bit it raises it like doubles your um, disk base size and then you have your bit rate which is set at 160 but I always do 192 or 256 depending on like how crazy my song is or whatever but 192 is about where I'm at all the time these things I don't touch these I'm sure there's a way to you know break it down a little bit like delay compensation and and uh, high quality for all plugins and stuff like that you have your resampling right here which I don't change I don't do none of that and then you can choose background rendering or start Start means that when it starts rendering the file, it takes a little bit. It takes a couple minutes to do, depending on how big the song is. But when you press start, that means that you can't do anything else on your computer. Or it would just make it really, really hard to do anything else on your computer while it's rendering. Background rendering allows you to check your Gmail and render the song file at the same time. But it takes a little bit longer. So when you click start... It'll just show the percentage down at the bottom. And so since I chose 192 and WAV file with 24-bit, it's going to take a while. But see, I don't want to save this, so I'm going to go on and abort. But when it's done, um, basically if you go to Windows Movie Maker or something and you click Import Audio, it'll show right there. So I um, hope this video helped you guys. Let me know. Uh, please visit my blog, flstudio123.blogspot.com, and also if this video was helpful in any way, please subscribe and like this channel. Thanks. Good night.